Well, welcome to one of the Huawei's exhibition centers. As you can see behind me, there's a whole host of equipment like microwave technology. And they come from a wide range of supply chains. So take a simple example of microwave technology. We have an R&D center, which we have more than 20 around the world, but our R&D center for microwave is based in Milan. Yet we take our compression algorithms from the world's best scientists and mathematicians in Moscow and then we apply that to Chinese technology in manufacturing. So you can take a very simple technology, you can see how this comes from around the world. So when we look at this from a global supply chain, not only do we have R&D centers around the world, we have joint innovation centers around the world, and we buy our components from around the world. So for example, when we look at the component tree within Huawei equipment, more than two-thirds comes from non-Chinese organizations, with our biggest provider, America, at 32%. We spent over $6.6 .6 billion on American components in 2011. So from a cybersecurity, we not only need to secure our supply chain, we need to secure the supply chains of our suppliers as well. So when you look at cybersecurity, it's not just about bits and bytes. It's not just about software. It's about people. It's about processes, manufacturing, plants, distribution, air freight. All of those things we need to cover. I talked before about some of our infrastructure products like microwaves, and of course we do base stations and all kinds of technology for the telecommunications industry. But of course, from a cybersecurity perspective, what you carry in your pocket, the mobile phone, the PDA, or your iPad or media pad, are just as important from a cybersecurity. Because it's not just the technology, it's the applications that we download, it's our personal data. So how do you know when you're downloading an application from some application store in the world, what exactly is that application doing? Is it capturing your personal data? Is it copying your contacts and sending them to, into some distant cloud in an unencrypted way? Is it beginning to copy what you're doing from any online banking that you're doing? So again, from a cybersecurity perspective, it's not just worrying about the technology, it's worrying about human behavior. It's worrying about data. It's worrying about everybody else's services. And that's all part of Huawei's end-to-end -end process. I talked earlier about carrier or infrastructure uh, cybersecurity as well as device cybersecurity. But of course, corporate enterprises, big business, and small business all use technology as well. And as we can see here, we do everything from health systems to education systems to cloud computing to smart grids to smart data centers. Some of that technology is used via third parties, and therefore we're part of an ecosystem. So whenever we look at cybersecurity, we need to look at what's required in the ecosystem for the technology that we're using. Welcome to one of our manufacturing centers just outside Shenzhen. We also outsource some of our manufacturing. In this building, we particularly focus on some of the newer equipment and some of the customized equipment we provide for our customers. As you know, from a cybersecurity perspective, you have to cover everything from the whole life cycle, from suppliers to components to people. So we've showed you some of the scale of Huawei manufacturing, but it's not just about scale, it's about sophistication. You cannot hope to produce world-class products unless you use world-class technology. But as you will know from other walks of life, you cannot bolt quality onto a product and nor can you bolt on cybersecurity. Cybersecurity has to be built into everything that you do. So for example, in our manufacturing, we can trace 90% of all components, where they have come from, what products they have ended up, and where have they gone to. All this is about our end-to-end cybersecurity strategy. Many cybersecurity threats come from the very inside. So if you do not know what the incentives are, the disincentives, the rules and re regulations, many attacks certainly can be perpetrated by insiders. At Huawei, we take the care and comfort of our people very seriously because it helps us drive down cybersecurity.